Alright, look who's back. Yeah, you probably don't recognize me. Anyway, so I'm back here and uh, it's that time of the year again. Oscar predictions. But uh, here we go, I'm going to list off, uh, hang on, I got it in the wrong order here. We're going to start with the smaller categories and work our way up. I'm going to I'm going to go through through this as quick as I can because, uh, especially with the smaller categories here, I, I'll have less to say. Okay, where are we going to start here? Um, this is printed off real weird. I've got the heading of the category on one page and the cat and the five nominees on the next page. This is weird. All right, <clears throat> we're going to start with best visual effects. Um, in um, the order of how I think um, the likelihood to win is I have Interstellar, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Godzilla. Um, yeah, I um, and I have a lot to catching up on reviews to do. I've seen tons, like, uh, not too long ago, a couple days ago, I went down and uh, I saw five movies back to back to back to back to back. So... Um, I know there's a lot to review, so hopefully, and then I'll, I'll do my top ten list uh, as soon as all the, I, I see all the Best Picture nominees, at least. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be coming up probably in, in January, but to say the least, Interstellar is not going to be on my top ten list. But, um, but Dawn of the Planet of the Apes might make it in there. Um, and between the two, the visual effects for my per, uh, personal preference, I thought Dawn did, had better effects. But uh, Interstellar kind of has this quality about it where it's it's kind of a dark horse right now to get into the, into the best picture race. Uh, has a better chance at least than Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, I think Interstellar's ahead in that race. But um, yeah, either those two, it this is the most competitive I think this category's been in in uh, three years now. Because uh, last year everybody knew it was Gravity. The year before everybody knew it was going to be Life of Pi. And then uh, 2011, there was this big battle between Harry Potter and Hugo and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. They gave it to Hugo in the end, but uh, yeah, at least three years ago, it was, it was a competition at least, and it'll be a competition again between these two at least uh, so far. 